What's up my friend? Robert the banana farmer here with Rocky the farm manager. Look in the camera man. Say hi. <laughs> so I wanted to buy a dump truck for a long time now. I realized that I just can't do without it. So much stuff you need to haul in. Mulch, horse manure, all kinds of organic matter and I didn't have much luck in the first uh, couple of years getting stuff from like landscaping companies or tree removal companies I called a few of them, I put ads on Craigslist like you know dump your mulch here for free and stuff like that nobody ever came out here, nobody called me I couldn't even get like uh, you know mulch uh, if I paid for it like from places who sell mulch, I call them, I ask them, uh, can you please deliver me some mulch? They never called me back because I'm just too out there. And there's dirt, dirt roads here. What do you want, Rocky? So, so yeah. Anyways, I'm far away, and it's hard to uh, to get in here with trucks. So, yeah, I just realized. I'm gonna have to buy a dump truck and haul, haul the stuff myself. So anyways, since my budget is pretty tight, I wasn't able to buy a big dump truck. And um, I don't really, really mind because it maintenance uh, is, is much more for a big dump truck than a small one. So this is what I got. It's a one ton uh, truck for that 350 1995. It has a gas engine in it. The biggest gas engine, a V8 460. So yeah, the gas mileage is not that great. I get around between 8 and 10. So yeah, around 9 miles to the gallon. And it has the extended uh, cabin so it can uh, seat uh, six people. It only has two doors, but the seat folds uh, like this so it can seat, seat uh, six people. So, therefore, it has a shorter bed. A shorter bed, it, they usually come with a 12 foot bed, but this is only a 10 foot bed. So, yeah, obviously, it's dually. It has uh, four wheels in the back, two in the front, and the sides are three foot tall, except of the back door. This is two feet tall, but it also has a hitch on it. Just need to add the ball. So yeah, I'm gonna have to replace the the rear door because it's just too heavy and it's hard to take it out. So what I want to do is, I want to raise the sides and the front only about one foot and I'm going to have to cut this off and uh, extend these, uh, what you may call it, poles or whatever and I want to use something like this steel uh, plate with holes and yeah make a door to make two doors that open from the middle here and use some heavy duty hinges two hinges on each side mesh how do you call it screen metal or mesh whatever I don't even know where to get it need to look around in Naples or Fort Myers see if I can find some uh, hardware store that sells sheet metal and stuff like that anyways it's a pretty good uh, good truck I bought it for cheap picked it up in Miami not right not now it's been a couple of months since I had it but uh, it had some issues it still has some issues when I bought it it had no Charging didn't work, so we replaced the alternator, but that wasn't the problem. 
Ah, oh, so So we found uh, there was a problem with one of the wires. So we fixed that, but then, as you can see, it's a little wet in here. Because this is a hydro hydraulic pump, and it leaks. I can't tell exactly where, but I think where the shaft seal is. So I'm gonna have to look it up and see if I can get a seal kit for it, or maybe take it off and take it to a place uh, where they can recondition it. So yeah, that's one of the remaining issues, uh, the, the leak here, and then there's an issue with the, with the clutch. It has an automatic transmission, not with the clutch, but what happens is when you drive it, it works fine cold, but then what happens after like 15 minutes of driving, uh, if you come to a stop, if you come to full stop and shift back to, there's the key. And you are in D, you come to a full stop, it won't, it won't, uh, won't take off again. You have to shift back to second gear and then, uh, you know, go in second gear and then shift up to D. So I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, the transmission is slipping or I don't know what the, exactly the problem is. Somebody said that it could be the the position, throttle position sensor or the governor, but uh, I don't know. Somebody even said it could be the override switch, which is missing from here. But it works when it's cold. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to take it to to mechanic. Oh, Rocky, what did you do, man? Just jump into the ditch. You look like crap, man. I'm gonna have to give you a bet again, like every day. So yeah, that's my little dump truck. I only paid 1200 bucks for it. They're asking 1500 but nobody, nobody wanted to buy it because of the transmission issue and the charging issue. So, uh, it's in pretty good shape. It has some rust here and there. Here and there and there, but you know, I can clean that up and fix it up. But uh, the chassis is good, the fr I mean the frame is good. Uh, no problem, just some surface rust here and there. I'm gonna need some new tires soon, but uh, yeah, for now. Now we're good. The engine uh, has like 266,000 miles, so yeah, I think it could use some uh, tune-up and some new spark plugs. We did change the oil with my neighbor James, change the oil and the filter and put a new air filter, put new lights on the back because they were messed up. And one other problem, I think I saw a, a little bit of leak over here, one of the hydraulic hoses somewhere. So yeah, I might have to replace uh, one or two hoses and then fix up the pump. Oh yeah, it's a good little truck. So now all I need is a, a dump trailer for it. Because <laughs> the problem is, you see I can load, can load about 10 yards in here. About 10 cubic yards of mulch. If I go a little bit uh, above and I can yeah so we already hold uh, for James and I hold a couple of loads for myself so 10 yards but the problem is um, where we get the mulch from from yarn mulching it's uh, like 24 miles so it's like a 50 mile round trip so it's not really efficient or economical to to pick up uh, 10 yards so what I'm thinking is to get a, you know, one of those dump trailers, the tandem X, two axle uh, dump trailers, 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Yeah, get one of those 
extend the, the, the sides and then I can haul about 20 yards in that and 10 in this one so with the dump trailer I can haul about 30 yards because you know each way I go down there come back it's like you know fifteen dollars in gas. Gas is cheap now so maybe like ten twelve dollars gas but uh, it adds up because I'm gonna need a lot of it like thousands of cubic yards so yeah I'm gonna save up some money get a dump trailer actually goats what the hell Rocky Rocky go get the goats go get him go get him go get him go get him well you fucking blind or what get him just play with them yeah he wouldn't do anything to them <laughs> Guys, go play. 